Hello and welcome to Architezi. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how you can create a kitchen cabinet family in Revit. And in order to do so, we need to firstly pick a proper uh, family template. So for this one, I'm going to start with this metric casework. And the first thing I'm going to do will be to create one more reference plane. Let's name it as a toy depth. And this one is going to determine the depth of our a base part under the panel under the opening front uh, let's place a dimension here and i'm going to create a parameter out of it and then let's say from the elevation view we can create the, the one more reference plane as well this is a one which is going to determine the height of that base part and again also create a parameter And let's say that we can make this 65 and the height of 80, something like this. And now I can go to create and I can create extrusion. So I will take a pick lines and I am going to pick over the reference planes. And it's quite important once you pick over the reference planes to lock it. I am just going to trim this. And I can, from elevation view, just drag this and lock the height to this reference plane, which is called toy height. Uh, when we made this, we can create one more reference plane. And then I can place a dimension from this one to the new one. And I can make a parameter out of this, which is going to be name, named as a panel thickness. Uh, let's make it 25. Yes, that's okay. And okay, I can now just create the frame the uh, we need for this element. So let's take extrusion. And in this case, let me just show you. I would like that to start from this reference plane and above. So what you need to do is just to go here to set. And for the reference plane, just pick this toy height. And again, don't forget to lock this. So here it will go to this new one, which is determined up to the panel thickness. I lock it and then I can just split that one. And let's say that thickness here is going to be 20 millimeters. So I'm just going to make it this way and let's trim everything. And now we can just drag this and lock up to here. And we need to do one more thing, so we can again create extrusion. But in this case, we need a height of just 20 millimeters. So this is how it looks like and let's check how it works. My suggestion for all of you is to when you do some some steps in Revit after you're done, just make a check if everything works well. Super, everything seems fine. Now we have to create a panel and I'm going to show you the way how you can create an openable panel. So what we firstly need to do is to take a reference line. And in this case, I'm going to start with the reference line from this intersection. And it's quite important to take a line tool after that, pick this reference plane and then just hover the mouse over the end of this reference line click tab button until you get this point and then lock it and repeat the same process for this reference plane as well. Now we can just select our line so it doesn't matter how long it is and let's say uh, that this temporary dimension we would like to make permanent so click on this and make this to be our width. So you, th you see that it became shorter and also I would like to add an angular dimension and I would like to create new parameter opening angle and let's make this one as an instance so let's just make this to be let's say 60 we see it works and let's just check how the width will work okay everything is okay so now we need to do something more 
and we need to create a couple of more reference lines and then we need to lock them so let's start this one from here make it to be perpendicular trim this and then take angular dimension and lock these constraints lock these angles and what we can also do we can place a dimension here so this one is going to be our panel thickness so you see and let's say that now i would like to make this to be 45 1.2 meters and the panel thickness of 50 you see that everything okay sorry uh i made a mistake about the opening angle let's make it 45 not <laughs> 450 so yes everything is everything is fine and what what i can do right now is i can just go here to create but before i do that i just would like to be sure yes there is one thing uh, i i would like to be sure that all my reference lines okay they are at the correct position so you see they are at uh, the reference plane hosted which is called toy height so now let's go to the plan view and take extrusion so just be aware that this starts from toy height click on those reference lines and lock this and then just drag this to here so now you see that how it look like and let's say that i would like to make this to be 60 degrees this to be let's say 100 100 900 with uh, opening angle 30 degrees we can make the height of 750 even depth to be 450 and the panel thickness let's make it 15 so everything everything works well let's make this to be 20 so the very last thing we need to do now is to assign materials and i don't want to suggest you the way to assign materials to the family itself uh, my way is to create material parameters so let's create select this base part and then go here to this square and let's create a new material parameter which is called as a base mat for example then we can select those two geometries and create frame material and then we can select this one and make this as a panel material save the family and let's create a new project so now I'm going to load this into the project and I will place a few of them here let's make this to be 600 in a bit and let's let's copy this so for example now because this is an instance parameter this can be 0 this can be 15 30 45 60 for example so you see how simple it is to make it and why i made uh, per, um, why I made parameters for, for materials is because I don't want to go always to the edit family and then change materials there. I would like to take the resources of the materials we have in a project file. So now if you just go here to the edit type, you see uh, that we have the base, frame and panel materials and then we can assign here any of our materials we have in our project template file. If you would like to support our work and to get the access to the longer video tutorials as well as to the project files of our YouTube videos, you can do that on a link below in the description. Uh, so we have the space called RKTZ Patron hosted on Mighty Networks. If you would like to know how to create a full kitchen in Revit, don't miss this tutorial. We, we uncovered that there and I really hope that it's going to be quite helpful as well.